Hi, this is just a quick video where I want to show you that you can use your SteamVR Chaperone Guardian boundaries uh, while using a Quest headset. I'm using the Quest Pro, but with any other headset, also with the Pico, you know, all of these headsets that have their own Guardian system, like the Meta headsets, uh, you can use that, of course, but personally, I prefer using the Steam built-in uh, Chaperone system because I can do some more settings with that. So I use that instead, and you can, but it's a little bit tricky. And here's how you do it. So first you need uh, OVR advanced settings. It has been free for a long time. Now you need to buy it on Steam. And if you go to settings, there is a thing called force use Steam VR Chaperone. Experimental plus Steam VR restart required. And when you do that, what it does is when you connect your uh, headset to SteamVR, I'm using Steam Link, it will launch your room setup. And then you can do your room setup and have the SteamVR Guardian like I have here. This is my room. Welcome to my room. <laughs> I only use the floor bounds. Okay, that's generally how you can use the SteamVR chaperone with those headsets. Now I'm just going to talk about a couple of things that I personally do and I've noticed. So with Steam Link, when you use Steam Link and you connect and you have the room setup that pops up, and if you finish that room setup, Steam Link will close and the connection will be gone. And that's really annoying. You can reconnect afterwards, but then the room setup is gone. So what I did is I used virtual desktop <laughs> to connect, do the room setup, then I have my room setup. Okay, like you see it here, my, my room is here, look at the Guardian. And uh, when you have that, you can go to OVR advanced settings, chaperone and then you can save the current settings make a new profile name it whatever you want i included everything and then name it something and then it's saved uh, i have a bug that it can duplicate everything i have but the accurate uh, chaperone profile i'm using is quest pro virtual desktop december because i did that in december with virtual desktop on my quest pro and then if you go to settings again, auto apply chaperone profile, you can set that to something. And whenever SteamVR and OVR advanced settings start, it will auto apply this chaperone profile and you will have your chaperone. So basically for me, I connect with Steam Link. It will launch the room setup regardless every time, even if you have, like it, it connects it, it already applies my Guardian by default when I start, but the room setup is still open. And one thing is, as long as the room setup is open, you can open your SteamVR menu. Well, it, it's open by default, you can close it, but then you can't open the SteamVR menu anymore. This thing doesn't open as long as the room setup window is open. But if you close it, Steam Link dies. So what I found is uh, when, when, you, when you instead launch a game, so your startup, you connect with Steam Link, you, s you start up Steam VR, the room setup thing starts, and if I just start VRChat or any other game, VRChat will close the room setup, and at the same time, Steam Link stays connected. I don't know. It's a weird, hacky thing that I do. But it works for me. It works for me, and I'm happy about that. And now I want to show you a couple of things that I do with my uh, Guardian, how I do that system in general. Maybe it's interesting to some. I generally only have the floor Guardian. I don't have any walls. Even if I walk very close here, this is my room. Welcome. I, I don't have any, 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 any walls. I don't like that. And the cool thing is you can toggle it on and off. So I can say, I want to see nothing. Now it's gone. Now I toggle it on, I can see it again. And I think that's very nice because when you're lying down, you're sitting somewhere, I don't know, you don't want to see it, you're just relaxing, you can disable it. And if you want to know where you are, you can enable it. Chaperone. No, it's actually in OVR advanced settings, right? Chaperone there. You can have additional chaperone settings. Floor bounds always on. That's what I used to have. But then the keybind for toggling it on and off doesn't work. So if I go to bindings here, I have ba, 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 not motion. I think it's in misc. 
Yeah. So if you go to OVR Advanced Settings, Findings, MISC, I have on the left trackpad Toggle Chaperone, which is a nice thing to have. And uh, that way, as long as floor bounds always on isn't toggled on, now I can toggle this on and off. And that's what I'm doing to have my floor visible. I know where I'm going because I know where my floor is. I can rush over here and I know exactly where my wall is and my elbow died. And I don't need to slowly look where I need to go. <laughs> so I think that's pretty cool. And I can disable it when I don't need it. And that's my setup. Oh yeah, right. Do you know why these pink spikes appear? I hate them. They're so annoying and they come a lot. I feel like it's my Wi-Fi or the Quest Pro just being stupid. Uh, it's annoying. <laughs> but it, it works, it works. Okay, back to less nauseating view. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> uh, this is a very scuffed video. I really should make more of these scuffed videos because there's so many things that I want to show you guys, like interesting bits and knowledge and maybe share something that might be helpful to some. But I'm holding myself back because I want to plan it through properly and have it perfect or something, you know? Not scuffed like this is. But on the other hand, I think scuffed videos have a charm too. Um, I really hope I don't make it hard for myself. And my tracking is... You, you saw the snap, right? My everything is offset. My face is here. It's not... Ah, uh, uh. Welcome to VR with a lot of tech issues. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know any life hacks? How do you handle your guardian system? Is there something you would wish for the guardian system to be there so that you don't crash into things in your room better? I feel like there's a lot of potential left to make a really good guardian system. I don't know how to make it better, honestly, myself, but I just think it could be way better. <laughs> uh, I think I shall end this video like this. Good, good, goodbye. <laughs>